we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Aquarius, Aquarius, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It's me, Elle, here to do a reading for you. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. I want to shout out Minneapolis, Mercury Retrograde, all right? I want to shout out LA, Chicago, Dallas, Houston, Atlanta, Philadelphia, and New York, London also, and Florida. So I have high viewership there. So thank you guys for always tuning in. Hello. Um, continue. All right. Let me know where you are viewing from down Australia, down in the comment section. Okay. So let me know where you're viewing from. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So Aquarius, um, so this is love. Okay not attracted to my partner and then this is money end of an era this is what i'm talking about um so let's let's get into it it looks like there is somebody who is coming to get in some clarity about how they're just not attracted to whomever they chose over you or whoever was in their life and um maybe they gave more time to or they're giving more time to over you they're not attracted to this person uh, not physically attracted to this person. Um, that's why they could be coming back to you, Aquarius. Notice it doesn't say I've gotten rid of this person that I'm not attracted to and I'm coming back to you, Aquarius. It just says I'm not attracted to my partner. So they're acknowledging that they have a partner, that they have somebody that they're with, um, but they want to come back to you. Uh, they want to reach out to you. You could have even been dealing with somebody who they just have very dysfunctional, chaotic relationships because there was trauma or abuse early on in their childhood. This person is uh, drawn to situations or people where they have to, the person has to lean on them or, or maybe the person that they chose over you, Aquarius, is chaotic, uh, dramatic, um, just, uh, you know, um, I'm getting that this person that they, they chose over you, Aquarius, chaotic, dramatic, petty, maybe even um, promiscuous. This is a person where they feel like they're over them. They can always throw something up in this person's face. Um, you're, you're, the person that wants to come back to you, their partner, they, they feel like they uh, this is the easy route. It's the easy choice. It's the person who has all these issues. Therefore, I have to be the caretaker. Your person could have um, could be dealing with somebody like this because this is how they grew up. You know, they grew up in that energy of um, needing to be loved or um, lacking love or lacking devotion or having to take care of parents or um, having to be the shoulder to cry on. Therefore, they find, they seek those type of people out. It's also easier to deal with somebody who's dysfunctional, um, maybe lower vibrational, maybe even lower intellect. 
because you know you always can feel like you are superior so your person may have um felt in inferior in their upbringing and now therefore they look out they look for and they seek out relationships where they can feel superior to maybe money wise intellect um maybe even looks you know because it talks about not being physically attracted to the partner so maybe they're not even physically attracted to this person but this person feeds their demon their their need to uh feel needed their need to feel like they're better than okay um they could even be younger than your person so whomever they chose over you is younger less experienced and they like that because they can always you know throw that up in that person's face they can always come off as if they're trying to help and mold this person to be better um your person seeks these type of relationships and these type of people find your person and it's like a match made in hell um, and finances, it's like you've got end of a career. Oh, I heard end of a career. This is end of an era. Okay. So it says end of an era. Maybe there's an end of a career. You're going to end something. You're going to go into something else. You're going to do something that you're passionate about. Something is transforming for you with the butterfly here. Um, you see something clear. It's black and white for you. You know, you got to make a decision, a determination. Uh, yeah. What you're going to do, how you're going to do it. Um, this could just be transition, grieve the loss of something or transitioning into, you also need to make plans for the next step. Um, and you might need to even seek out counseling or support, or you need to get some type of uh, mentorship, something of that nature, whatever you're trying to do in your finances and your career is the end of an era. You've done something long enough. It's time for you to be set on fire, be passionate about whatever it is you put your hand to. All right, so let's get some clarifying cards in here. Um, what we're going to do is, okay, we're gonna clarify. Uh, why is this person uh, not physically attracted to their partner? So it looks like you got, oh, whoa. Why wow, that flipped out body changes. So they may not like their person because they've gone through some body changes. Their person could even be pregnant, had a baby. Um, the, you know, their body is kind of, you know, out of whack. There also could mean like maybe, um, I heard like STD or maybe, I don't know, like, uh, if it's a woman, UTI, yeast infection, there could be, uh, of course, weight gain. Um, it could also be weight loss. Uh, maybe they have, you know, too many scars or. Oh my God, the spirit is that y'all been a mess. Bullet wounds. I don't know. Maybe they could be dealing with somebody who's just like, they were in that lifestyle. They were about that life. Whomever you're dealing with or wants to come back to you, they're no longer attracted to this person because they've had some significant body changes. This could even be as drastic as going through like chemotherapy, um, you know, having breast amputated if there is breast cancer or some, it could be amputation. Somebody is not physically attracted to the person. It also could be that somebody's getting older or they're just old or, uh, yeah, getting older, you know, the body changes, right? Uh, this person is not physically um, active. So the body has changed again, weight loss, weight gain. Um, so your person is not attracted to that person because of superficial reason it looks like definitely physically and then body changes flipped out. Um, so these are the butterfly Oracle decks. So it's like, um, there has been some or crystallis, or maybe this person is just like lazy, inactive. So there has been weight gain. Uh, someone looks different or they're getting older or they're not taking care of themselves. There could be heavy eating, drinking, drugging. So somebody's just not attracted to this person. All right, let's see what is going on in Aquarius finances. Can we get a card for Aquarius finances here uh, and career? with this end of era so something is ending for you aquarius um it looks like it's a good end it's a transition a transition that sets you on fire it's like you just come in into knowing that you know it's crystal clear for you black and white that you've got to make a decision what, your determination or what are you determined to do you've got to take the next step now or make a plan so that you can actually take the next step now what card do we have for career finance clarifying end of era for Aquarius 
All right, let's see. It looks like you might be in some job setting where the people are driving you crazy. Oh, I can't even make this up. Oh, underpaid at work. So some of you could be you're getting you're not getting what you're worth in whatever it is you do. Um, or you feel like you should be making more or you could be salary and uh, maybe you're working overtime. You're not getting paid for it. Um, you're putting out great quality, whatever it is you do, whether it's, you know, maybe you're an artist of some sort or you're creative of some sort. You're putting out great work and it looks like you can't get anyone to pay what you're worth or you're, you're finding that you're always having to discount or discredit or um, you have to do things uh, for free or whatnot. You're just underpaid at work and it's coming to an end, the end of an era, of, the end of the era of you being underpaid at work, done with, okay? Um, you're going to use your brain power to get out of this to maybe even think of new ways to bring in money. Think of new ways to bring your uh, dreams to fruition. Let's continue to clarify here. Um, so let's talk about, okay, this will go over here. More cards in regards to this person who wants to come back to you. They haven't left the person that they're not physically attracted to, um, but they do want to have you two as an option. So let's see what's going on here. What can we tell Aquarius about? Because there it is Mercury retrograde. People are thinking they could be a recovering addict. Triggers need peaceful environment. So your person could be a recovering addict. They could be going through recovery. They could be dealing with someone who is an addict. Your person could be still in their addiction. Um, maybe you were their peace. You were their peaceful environment. They need you. They're in need of you. They're surrounded by many triggers. This is a person who lacks self-awareness, um, self-discipline, uh, maybe even self-respect. This is somebody here who's, you know, falling deep or down a rabbit hole. This could be overindulging in food, drink, um, of course, illicit drugs. Um, this is somebody here who just doesn't know when. Uh, this is somebody who needs you. They need the peace that you bring. Um, this is interesting. So it's like they're not attracted to that person. They're in some situation where they have to cope. A lot of times you'll find that people become addicts of anything. It's, it's a coping me uh, mechanism. It's not the actual problem. It's not the actual uh, situation because you'll, you'll find that once they get sober and they go to counseling and AA and all, uh, all that, is, you know, those different groups, it was an underlining issue. So your person, again, could have been dealing with like past trauma. Um, they are used to being in traumatic, dramatic situations where they have to be the accountable one or they have to be the shoulder to cry on or lean on. They have kind of fallen into that. They, this is a codependent relationship. So it's like, yeah, they may be with somebody who is low vibrational and who is X, Y, Z and who's this and that, but they're also um, low vibrational and dependent upon this person. Um, it's like you, the enabler, right? Well, I can't be an enabler unless I have somebody to enable. I can't be an, an addict or freely in my addiction if I don't have an enabler. So it's like, it's codependent. They need each other, you know, um, whomever this is, uh, your person, whomever wants to come back to you. Uh, they like that low vibrational stuff. You know, it feeds a level of their soul. Let's talk about um, Aquarius being underpaid at work. Okay. Um, and that's ending. That era is ending. You coming out of that. It was making you sad. It was making you blue. It was making you, you know, kind of indifferent to doing this work, putting your creative in, you know, endeavors out there. Uh, yeah, you coming into a season of having more than enough, maybe even thinking of a new way to bring in more money, um, a different stream of income, you're understanding your worth, and therefore you're going to ask for your worth and nothing less. Yeah, you're standing on your ground. You're going to be proactive in making something happen and getting you know, ahead of something, getting ahead of the curve or uh, learning something. Or when people come at you for the freebies, it's no. Or when people want to pay half or they want to, uh, I don't know, when people want you to discount or discredit something, it's going to be an absolute no. Um, you're not going to let people come in uh, and maybe, you know, usurp your time, take your time here because it looks like 
maybe even at work, you're going to say, no, I can't, or um, I'm a working mother. I cannot stay late. I will not stay late. Um, you're going to uh, ask for the salary that you deserve or the hourly pay that you deserve. You're no longer going to just accept You've come into understanding your worth, maybe within a dynamic a corporation or just all together, wherever you go, you understand your worth and you're not accepting anything less than. See, she's got the yellow back here for intellect. So it's like, you understand now, maybe you were living beyond, like living below, like, okay, like, um, like saying, okay, well, this is what they're offering. This is what I have to accept. This is what it is. Um, you were just kind of in that energy, but now you're in the energy of, you know, you understand your worth. You understand that time is money. If you're exchanging your time for money, you need to be getting a fair and adequate uh, pay. Um, you could be going to ask for a raise um, or putting your, putting in your resignation. Um, you may be going after something that you're passionate about. You may even be trying to start to work from home or start some work from home, okay? This looks good, Aquarius. It looks like this is a very fertile time in your life. So start whatever it is you want to start with the Queen of Pentacles here. Looks like you, it's a very abundant time in your life. Looks like you know what to do with your money now. Maybe how to invest, how to work. You're a hard worker. You have, you know, responsibility and work. Uh, therefore, you know, um, it makes you... This could be a time where you could be getting a promotion. This could be a very lucky season in your life, too. You're coming out of not having enough, being underpaid, not getting what, you, what is due unto you. Let's see what else is happening uh, for the Aquarius. Not physically attracted to my partner because of the body changes that they had. Um, they could be a recovering addict. I'm a recovering addict, says the person that wants to come back to you. Um, they like to be in chaotic situations and then they like to come back to you because you're their peaceful place, their peaceful environment. Maybe you were always helping this person. Let's see. What do we have? Uh, in regards to this person, this card just fell on the floor. Yeah, they're in bad health. They're in a bad, they're in a bad state, mental state, physical state. They could be recovering. Um, they could just be going down again, down the rabbit hole, just spiraling down. They might even want to take you with them. Again, you're their peaceful place. You're their nurse here. You know how to nurse them back to health and they want you back in their life. They could even want to have sex with you because this is the only card that has a bed on it. So they may, again, not physically attracted to that person, to their partner. Therefore, they want to come back and have sex with you. They may even feel like your sex is healing and there's a healing component to your sex. Yeah, like um, they feel like uh, with you, they can gain their stability back, their foundation back, their peace back. Um, this is somebody who just wants to take your energy. Let's see what's happening um, for Aquarius in career and finance. It looks like you're standing up. Um, you're not going to be distracted or dismayed or you're not going to be taken off your square. It is what it is at this point. Um, you're not giving in. Wow, very nice privileged lady coming out. It looks like you're going to come to a place. So you're understanding that abundance is a dance, a bun dance. You know, the dance. Uh, so if you're dancing with somebody, that means you both are kind of like in tune with each other. And um, you're on the same beat. You're in the same type of frequency. So it's like in order to have money and to get the money that you deserve, you need to be in, a, in that certain frequency of understanding your wealth, understanding your worth understanding that you are wealthy and you are worthy. Okay. Understanding that it is a dance that you do. You do not, um, you attract also, you understand that you've done enough and that, that you have uh, created your worthiness. It's with you. You are, um, maybe a queen or you will be queen. You will be taken care of or the universe takes care of you. That might need to be your affirmation each and every day. The universe takes care of me. The privileged lady, she is, of course, like the card says, privileged. She has money. She has, you know, prestige. She has uh, influence. She has a good reputation. This is somebody who is abundant, creative. It's funny, this card, this card reduces to a three, which could be significant of the empress, which the queen of pentacles is the physical embodiment of the empress. So it looks like you're creating 
your abundance, Aquarius. You're getting into understanding the dance of abundance, okay? You understand that it's not something you chase after, but it's something that you get into alignment with. You get into the frequency of. You're, you're, you're not going to underestimate yourself or be underpaid or be um dismayed, moved. Um, you're going to take proactive measures in order to get what it is you deserve. This could even be magic, earth magic also. This could even, yeah these two together it looks like you're gonna do something in order to usher in abundance the dance of abundance okay um let's continue here why why is this person in bad health whomever aquarius per whomever this is trying to come back to aquarius why are they in bad health what did, no what do they want from aquarius what do they want from aquarius the Ten of Wands, they may want to strap you with burden also. They want you to be a part of this karmic cycle. They want you to be a part of this karma. They may even want you to take them out of this karma. They may have um, like uh, just not, they may have taken you for granted, Aquarius. They didn't see your worth. They want you to make them better. You have a cure. You have a cure to... Uh, this everyday uphill, this burden, this drama. They may be going through it at work. They may be working long hours. They may not be eating right. They may not be sleeping. They may be just be in a um, terrible um, situation, karmic situation, uh, drama-filled environments. And they want you to be their peace. They want you to come back into their life and be their peace. The Ten of Wands here. It may be that they may have a lot of success right now. They're kind of like cracking under the weight of their own success um they may just be on autopilot right now just going not knowing where they're going to land um they want you they want you to be their escape escapism you know you're their escape from all of this turbulence all this drama all this drudgery all this heavy load all this burden burden of being within a relationship that where there's no satisfaction physically maybe burden of being in a job or having their own business that requires so much of them. What is the advice for Aquarius dealing with this person? The tower, let this person just, you know, let it all collapse. <clears throat> let it collapse. Don't, you may even bring the tower down for this person. You may even tell them something. They're like, you know, no, I can't be there for you or no, I'm not available or no. Um, it just might be a no. Uh, they may not be able to deal with that. You're going to be the tower for them. This talks about sudden upheaval. Um, it talks about discord also. The advice is that if you get involved in this, you're going to, like, it's all going to spiral down. You're going to spiral downhill with them. You could, it's, the relationship is going to blow up again. They're going to leave. You're going to find out that there's another person. Um, you're going to find out that you're being, you know, played the tower happens again clarify the tower this is like um yeah this is finding out something this is like a, an argument upheaval drama this person wants you involved in it they see you outside of it so they see you as not only just you know um they see you as choosing yourself they see you as peaceful they see you as not burdened let's see what else yeah the seven of pentacles so they may even feel like it's restriction between the two of you. The, the cards, okay, so the tower with the seven of pentacles is telling this person needs to go through a deep scorpionic uh, transformate, transformative change. Like they need to look deep within because their issues stem from past, you know, the past, their past, childhood drama or trauma. Um, it's restriction. The universe has put restriction between you and this person. Okay, they feel like it's not over, but they're just accepting the fact that you don't want to talk to them or that there's no activity between the two of you. It's like this person feels like they put in a lot of time with you and they don't want to let it go. They don't want to let you go. They see the value in you. They want to return on their investment. Maybe um, this is how you felt also, but it might be that you just need to let this go. Master something, learn something from this. This is wisdom also, because this is Saturn. So it's like, maybe you just need to uh, learn the lesson here. 
seven seven of pentacles lesson saturn um you just need to learn you need to learn that this person isn't changing the dynamic isn't changing you, and uh, maybe the universe had to put time distance between you and this person page of cups they may reach out to you and uh maybe apologize or say something just simple small hi how are you i miss you i don't know anything they may even try to romance you be romantic with you or romance you um this is kind of like um this is a false start though because it's the page of cups okay it could be a false start uh let's see one more card for what's happening here the six of cups yeah this person is in uh, a very so we got saturn showing up okay we got a uh, scorpio showing up again this person needs to learn a deep lesson you know in love and in relationship and in emotion and they need to learn how to process their emotions and it's not always that you need to go back to or you need to look for a remedy in a certain person but you need to uh, look for the remedy in god in spirit in spirituality this person needs to get some spiritual awareness awakeness it's like they're having these nostalgic thoughts about bringing you back into their life but it's only so that they can um you can feel the void so there's a big hole gaping hole in their heart and they want you to just they want to stuff it with you you know you come and you feel the void and when you leave there's a void again and i'll chase you again it's like runner chaser type situation but no one is ever learning the lesson as to why we met one another. So you both were mirrors to one another. Maybe you learn less than Aquarius. You, you are learning the lesson. You have learned the lesson. Um, this person mirrored to you what was wrong with you. You wouldn't fix you. They haven't done it. Or vice versa. Because it could be the, the other way around for the cross watcher. The six of cups here is just like this person's inability to accept responsibility because their lack of maturity. They just it's emotionally immature, super immature. They're wanting it to go back to a simpler time with you. They want to say, I love you. They want to sweet nothings, very nostalgic type of energy with them. Um, but I think you're over it. You know, and you know that it has nothing to, it's not lasting. There's no staying power there what is this person's next moves what is this person next move towards aquarius the ten of swords so they may just accept the fact that it's over it's done you're not coming back um it's going to be an inability to cope that bad health card is kind of coming up they're going to have to cope with the fact that it's over they could also be super overly dramatic about this you know, they could be trying to drag this relationship out, but when it's really done, it's the completion of a thing, the 10. They also could um, try to make you the scapegoat or or try to gaslight you, um, try to be argumentative if you give them the opportunity to talk to you. It's just like this person just can't cope with the fact that it is over. It is done, you know, um, or it has to transition. Malkuf, it's done, you know, the final now it has to go into um, something new, something better, hopefully. But um, they're going to deal with the fact that it's over. I don't think they're coming towards you, especially in the energy of maybe you being their tower. Maybe you told them something or maybe the tower was just you not responding or you haven't learned the lesson and you're not going back or you're not giving them what they want. What is going on for Aquarius in career and finance outside of them being the privileged lady, standing up for themselves, being proactive, getting um, a hold on their finances, looking over your finances, looking over um, maybe pertinent information. I knew this was coming out. A whole lot of money is coming to you, Aquarius, because you're manifesting it. And then, yeah, you're going to be flashy or you, I mean, you'll look flashy. Maybe you are flashy, you know, whatever. Um, but that could be your aura also. Like people see you and they see like there's something different about you or there's positivity or there's light about you. Um, a whole lot of money coming to you, Aquarius. A whole lot of abundance coming to you because you stood your ground or you got in front of something. Um, you stood up for what you believed in. Um, yeah. Let's see. what. I, okay. I could talk to you for hours. I don't know if you, it's something that you're going to be doing. You're going to be coaching. You're going to be talking to people. 
Um, you could even meet someone new, could come off as a friend um, initially. Let's see, what else do we have for Aquarius in terms of career, finance? We got a whole lot of money and flashy is all F. Um, somebody's husband or wife doesn't contribute financially and maybe you may be walking away or you, you may be um, done. Uh, you just kind of indifferent to this person. They make you sad. Um, you could be dealing with somebody who gets around or they spend a lot of your money. Uh, uh, let's see what else. Um, somebody was spending a lot of your money or, or somebody you were investing in the wrong thing or wrong person. Um, what is town whore? It could be clarifying your person also. I don't know. Or they could be with the town whore. So you're coming out of maybe like psychopath or allowing some psychopath to kind of uh, manipulate you. Some psychopath with no self-awareness. We talked about they don't have any self-awareness. Some or you become aware of somebody's psychopathic behavior. You also, yeah, you so self-aware, not aware. Maybe you were. You were dealing with the psychopath. You weren't. And this could even be at work. Somebody kind of like um, manipulating you. You weren't aware that you were being manipulated or that this person was doing this to everybody or, or um, giving everybody else a chance but not giving you a chance or something of that nature yeah because like they hate you just for being you no other reason right I, I can't make it up you chose to give love to the wrong person so this at work it's like they chose to give advancement Promotion to the wrong person and they chose to make the wrong person the lead or the supervisor or the manager Some of you this is you coming into awareness of who you really are in the spiritual realm and knowing that you can manifest Whatever you want to manifest. It's like you were giving your power away to the wrong thing or the wrong person and They they just hate it. They hate you and then also th somebody was taking your money Psychopath can be sometimes like that type A personality, you know. Um, you were allowing somebody to tell you, you, so maybe you were allowing somebody to make promise, promises to you, but not make good on them. Maybe at work, their integrity was questioned, but you just didn't do anything about it. You're coming out of... Um, you just weren't aware that this person was a, a psychopath and then you're aware to, of it that maybe um, they were being manipulated or maybe your money was being manipulated. This could even be an, uh, an attack against your money, maybe your business. Oh, okay. So your money decreases when they're in your life. You had to take note of that. Yeah, that somebody was draining you. That's what I'm saying, the town whore with the green cards. Like maybe this person that didn't con contribute financially, whether it be a husband or a wife or a friend or whomever was in your life, it was draining you, okay? So the boyfriend, husband wasn't contributing, but they were maybe manifesting somewhere else, taking your energy, taking your money, your money was decreasing or it was becoming stagnant because they were giving your time, your love, your money to somebody else. And they absolutely hate you or hated you. 
they really didn't like you or they didn't or they wanted to be like you this could have been an attack on your money also maybe from a nut and like a third party this could have been an attack for yeah on your money let's get you some future cards let's see what's happening in the future for the aquarius can't make it up something well it's like you get rid of a group of people or one person and then the floodgates open up for you or you leave a job that was taking advantage of you and then manifestation 11 777 could be significant you know um it just the floodgates open up for you. you master yourself or you master something you learn something also this is also magic with the seven card mastery of something uh in the future the concern there could be somebody slipping into depression because you don't want to be with them uh they're concerned about what you're doing who you're doing it with this could be somebody from your past or somebody that does know you um you had a significant history with yeah can't make it up some man thinking of you thoughts of you thoughts of you with someone else how you're doing who you're doing it with um just can't get you off their mind yeah but they're still coming up as a false so this could even be indicative of them running around spying on you maybe even through the tarot other people social media um holding back but spying trying to go undetected they're trying to figure out your money situation also they're trying to figure out where you live is what i'm hearing let's see in the near future yeah this person is in dis complete despair without you low a low vibration um maybe they're go they are homeless and they don't have a job or whatever they, they didn't yield to um good advice like they didn't take advice they got good advice from someone okay um and then they're also in a relationship with an older woman again somebody who's aging they don't want this relationship they're not physically attracted to this person they wanted you all along, Aquarius, but they can never pull the trigger on making their life change so that they can have you. Yeah, main male. So um, you could meet somebody new is what I was getting when I put that card down. You'd be meeting someone new uh, in the near past, near future. Courthouse. Okay, so you could be like name change or this could be your lawyer. Uh, this could even be somebody coming back trying to be petty or pesky or just um trying to make it hard for you to move on oh some of you this might be a person you marry because this card talks about going to the courthouse but it's like petty little things you have to do at the courthouse like get your name changed or get a, a marriage certificate the little petty pesky things that you have to do somebody told this person that you were about to get married or you're gonna meet your person You may also, this may even be the start of a business. It's going to be a lot of work or hard work or it's hard work getting here, getting to this point. It might even be hard work for this person to get in contact with you in the near future. What do we have for Aquarius? Your dreams coming true. Very nice. Uh, distant horizon. Yeah. All your dreams come, all your dreams, hopes, wishes coming true because uh, you trusted in God. Let's see. You might receive a message from this this person who really wants to talk to you or wants to be around you they're spying on you via the community they see you getting a lot of eyes on you a lot of um followers subscribers you may get a message from them they're stuck on you it, it'll be a message out of the blue maybe they'll buy you a gift they want you to hear them out about how they changed and um how they want to be the official person in your life or how they see you. They want to talk about your change also. Great fortune. This person is still in the energy of trickery. If you allow me to come back into your life, I can act like what you really want, but I can never be it. I don't know. That's for somebody. Let's um, get some signs in here. Uh, 
somebody also sees you like getting a lot of like rewards, accolades, the eighth house intimacy. So investments, energy, Kundalini energy, stalking, can't make it up. This person with, and they had the eight card, the false person like stalking you via other people. It's just like this person won't let it go. They can't let it go. This might even be their karma. Uh, they could be born on the day of eight or the month of eight. Um, Neptune. Yeah, so this could even be God like serving up karma. They just keep having memories of you and their subconscious. How they couldn't make the sacrifice to be with you. Uh, fantasy. You know, it's just like this is becoming an obsession. Yeah, love or obsession in regards to maybe sex and I'm trying to win you over and be flirtatious or maybe even try to bedazzle the truth here uh, or bedazzle a lie or I don't know. They could be trying to bedazzle a lie. Yeah. Or bedazzle the truth. The truth hurts. They may be trying to put some sugar into that truth. You found out the truth about this person. The sun, it could be about a masculine energy. Yeah, something came out. Um, the 10th house, maybe in regards to their reputation. You also could be in the sun, in the spotlight, Aquarius. And now this person wants to come back to you. Okay, they could engage in like sex work, uh, OnlyFans, you know, prostitution, play for play, pay for play, exotic dancer, escort, so forth. Um, and this is maybe what you could have done also, but it's like, maybe you, you've changed something about you have, you've changed. They haven't. Somebody has, is staying the stain. Could be a Sagittarius. Somebody could have been, uh, they want to come towards you, voyage towards you. They want to talk about how they've had this transformation. They want to renew something. They want to renew their relationship, but they might just want to be a part of your assets. Um, and they're trying to take action in regards to trying to get, maybe even have sex with you, to try to get back into your life. It could be a Libra. So this is the idealist this is somebody who wants to, you know, have the ideal life or lifestyle or somebody wants to be a part of your life, your friend group, the 11th house. Um, the, you, they want to be a part of your future. They see you rebelling, moving away from them. You could have Aries in your chart or Aries could be significant. You could just be doing something completely radical or going in a different direction. They see you transforming between right before their eyes, the Gemini. Um, somebody here needs deep soul healing. It could be a Cancer, Chiron. There's somebody here who just wants you to come back. They may even want you to heal them. Uh, there's a healing capacity about you. Uh, let's see what's going on in career and finance for the Aquarius. Wow, finance is definitely taking center stage. When this card comes out, it's not that it's going to be bad. It's not that it's going to be good. Only you know on where you stand in regards to your finances. It looks like a good omen, though. It looks like finances are definitely being highlighted, though. Or maybe you're going to go after some passion project. Maybe you need to look over your finances moving you need to move away from something so you're trying to get your finances together so you can move this talks about a literal move like you're actually moving you're also moving away from turbulent situations or somebody who is bleeding you dry energetically when they come in your life things tend to stagnate things tend to get harder or your money stands still or you're losing money uh let's see money is energy relationship can't make it up relationship dynamic yeah, for career and finance. So now you're coming, you're aware of something. You feel differently now about a relationship or, or being in a relationship. You're going to do the grief work and you're going to move away from this uh, certain somebody. You also could be a grief counselor, therapist, tarot card reader. You could do some type of energy work here to where you help people in relationships. It's going to bring you finances, money. What else do we have for Aquarius? Get some rest. Um, you don't have to work so hard. Work on being in the energy or the the um, dance of abundance. You know, get in the space of having abundance. Keep in mind, abundance is not something that you uh, you um, you run after, you chase after, but it's about attracting it. You have to be in the energy of seeking and finding. 
Okay, you need to learn something. You need to get a book. You need to read a book. The knowledge is there for you. Um, this is starting something new. Maybe you're going to manifest differently. You're going to learn how to, you know, um, like an uptick in your manifestation. Keep the faith. Whatever is supposed to happen, is, is, whatever happens is supposed to happen. Keep the faith. Uh, you got angels around you. Um, healing angels. Be true to you, though. Don't be true to the money. Don't be true to what people say you need to do or what people say will be best for you. Be true to you. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Realization and epiphany. You get some money coming to you. Support. Um, whether that's through the courts, child support, alimony, back pay, somebody owes you. Realization and epiphany. You come into some realization of who you really are. And you're healing from the past and you're stronger than you know. Um, you need, might need to join a group of individuals who are doing the same thing as you, or who want to do the same thing as you, who want to use practical and spiritual method to either start business, maintain business, or grow business. Go ahead and join the KTMG. Keep the momentum going. Monthly conference calls, 20 bucks a month. Get involved in it. You're going to get practical and spiritual advice as to how to move forward in your business, how to manifest. What's wrong? What you're doing wrong? What is off with you? What is out of alignment? So go ahead and join that group. That is group business mentorship. It's intuitive business mentorship. So there is an intuitive um, part to this. There is an intuitive uh, spectrum to all of this. Also, if you want to connect with me and get on a discovery call to see if I can even help you, then discovery calls are complimentary. All right. So go ahead and schedule your discovery call. Um, what else? Get your own personal reading today and today only 10 minute phone, 10 minute recorded readings are 50 bucks. So take advantage. All right, go ahead, get it out there, get done, you know, get it, get it done. Start today. Cause you have the card of needing to take the next step now, you know, with the end of an era. So you need to make a plan to take the next step. Now you also might need to get under end of air talks about getting under coaching. Uh, mentorship, something like that. You need that. Um, I know, you know, I'm going to speak to one sector of people right now, but, um, it, it could be for everybody, but I know a lot of times black people do not believe in coaching of any sort. And we, as a people need to get out of that. And we need to get into understanding that if we really want to do something successful, we possibly need to get around people who have already done it. There have been several studies shown. You can talk to any coach you know, it, it is maybe a cultural thing. So if you're finding that you it's hindering you because you just don't see the value in coaching, then get on that discovery call with me, uh, any coach or look up uh, coaching, what it, what it really is. Therefore you can move in the direction you need to move in. But you know, um, you, you need to be around certain people who have done it, are doing it, um, so that they can pour into you. Okay. Uh, all links are below. If you want to get your own personal reading, uh, go to the website, book there. And you can also go to the website. Links are below to book your, your discovery call or to go ahead and sign up for coaching packages. Okay. You can also, um, text a question to the number below. If you just have a question you want to ask me, text your question to the number below. Okay. Um, I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm live tonight. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.